This is a Coke bottle. And everything behind me is the end result of this bottle and its friends put together to light up brighter than a Christmas tree. Now, just like most of you, I had a bunch of spare time in December since my display was up and running smoothly. So I started stalking YouTube channels to see who had the best display and it was when I saw this video that I knew I was making bottle wings. I must admit that I'm responsible for most of the views on this video. I mean, let's face it, it's mesmerizing. I was onto this project straight away. We needed bottles and we didn't drink bottled water or soft drink and the local recycling places weren't very helpful with giving any donations, even if I paid for them. So my next step was to involve the local community and ask for donations of bottles through my Facebook page. We opted for Coke bottles as they were a lot easier to collect than water bottles, plus Coke bottles were a lot more durable. And that's where my next challenge came in. I had to clean these bottles. Every single one of them. These wings were going to be big. And I mean three meters wide big. That's ten feet long for all you imperial humans. Where was it going to sit in my display so visitors could get a photo with the wings? My property had a front fence to stop little fingers touching the Christmas display. <laughs> I mean, stop visitors from accessing the good spots in the garden for a decent photo. And since Harry Potter came into our family as a pandemic purchase in December last year, we really needed to keep the front gates closed. So it was pretty clear my angel wings needed to go on the front fence. All of this was decided while I was drilling holes into 330 Coke bottle lids. Drilling the holes felt a little like Christmas. Multicolored snow was falling everywhere from the lids. Extreme lighting displays would have been jealous and because I didn't want Troy to feel left out, I decided to send him some in the mail. procrastination setting. Rather than building wings, some of my time was spent going to the ACL Sydney Expo and presenting to other lighting enthusiasts. It was here I was lucky enough to be given a length of neon strip lighting for my angel wings by none other than the X-Lights guru himself, Keith Wesley. Thanks Keith. The Sydney Expo was an amazing weekend. It was great to mingle with friends, meet new ones, have a ton of laughs and take away a wealth of information. Uh, wait, stop. Go back one. No, one. Forward. Go forward. Do it. Stop. What is that? I was now wishing I sent a butt ton of angel snow to EFDE DLF. It oh, doesn't matter. So now these selfie wings were everywhere. Did I really want to make my bottle wings? You bet I did and I was going to own it like a boss. I came home from Sydney and went straight into angel mode. I really needed to get in and clean the rest of these bottles and paint them. Look how clean they are. They just glisten in the sun, don't they? Painting the bottles was pretty straightforward. I sprayed each bottle inside, placed it on a table, left it to dry. I think I'll leave the footage out of this. It would have been as boring as, well, watching paint dry. Which brings us to the next part of making the frame. 
The easiest way I found to make the wing outline was to project the image on a wall and simply trace the outline of the wings on Coro and then cut it out. The next hurdle was purchasing the timber to frame up the wings. Bunnings was completely out of stock of timber we wanted to purchase thanks to COVID. So we had to use what we had on hand, which turned out not so bad in the end. Crisis averted. I was finally able to see the finish line in sight for this project. It was time to start assembling the wings. They were built in two sections to make it easier to handle. Each bottle is secured with a cable tie and the lid was given a light spray of paint. This was a very satisfying build. After storing so many bottles in the garage for the past three months, it was really nice to see it all come together. Thank you.